God. It's a pleasure to be here one more time to have fellowship with the saints. Amen. I was just sitting down and I was just thinking what should be the topic of today. And Sister Miss came with the topic. Amen. <laughs> Touch me again, she said. <laughs> Touch me again. And, and all that was done today before I go into. Let me read the scripture that I have. And I will just explain what has been said today. And I don't know if I'll be able to touch the message. Praise the Lord. Amen. Judges chapter 16. We read from, look at verse 20. And then verse 22. And, and then she said unto, she said, The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he awake out of his sleep. And said, I will go out as at other times. And just shake myself, and he wished not that the Lord had departed from him. We always dwell on that, but we don't dwell on the next one. Verse 22, in verse 22, Judges 16, 22. How be it, the hair of his head began to grow. Oh, touch me again. Touch me again. Before we come to touch me again, now, now there are things that Samson did not do. Psalm 91, maybe he that dwelleth in the secret place, he was not dwelling in the secret place. So he left himself exposed for the enemy to attack him. Are you with me? And then a thousand shall fall. Oh, Samson slew a thousand Philistines with a job of an ass. Oh, they shall tread upon lions. Samson slew a lion with his hands. Amen. And he shall call upon me. And I will answer. Samson call upon the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Judges 16, 28. Samson called again. I'm coming to that. Samson called. And the Lord answered. And the Lord delivered him out of trouble. Somebody praise the Lord. And Samson said, Lord, this one more time, one more time. And then she came and said, Amen. Psalm 24, verses 7 to 10. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, ye everlasting doors, and be thou lifted up. Amen. Who is this Prince of Glory? He's the Lord, mighty in battle. Amen. God was with Samson. And he had a last battle. And he has a last victory. He had a last triumph. Oh mighty God of battle. I pray that he will be a mighty God in your battle today. God will fight your battle. God will be the fighter of your battle. He's mighty in battle. Exodus 15.3 He's Jehovah the man of war. Our God is a warrior. Our God is a fighter. That's why we call him El Gibor, mighty God, mighty. Exodus 14, 13 to 14, be not afraid by reason of this great multitude. No, that says that Second Chronicles 20, 15. Exodus 14 says, be not afraid of the Egyptians, for the Egyptians you have seen today, you will see them again no more. For the Lord shall fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. He's mighty in battle. He has never lost a fight. Somebody praise God. Amen. Amen. Second Chronicles 2015. Thus saith the Lord. Amen. Be not afraid of this great multitude. For the battle is not yours. For the battle is the Lord's. Are you with me? Amen. Isaiah 54. 15 and 17, all they who gather together against you shall fall for your sake. Are you with me? Verse 17, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every mouth that shall rise against you in judgment shall be condemned. And then she came and said, oh, touch again. I pray that there will be a fresh touch today. Fresh fire in the house. Fresh oil in the house. Fresh anointing in the house. Fresh touch, fresh touch, fresh touch. In the name of Jesus. Oh, revival touch. Oh, let the power of God touch you. 
Let him touch you today. Amen. I believe it says there is a fresh fire. Jeremiah 20 verse 9. Amen. And then his word was in my heart. Like fire shut up in my bones. And I could not say fresh touch. Amen. Let God bring fresh touch today. In the name of Jesus, fresh oil. Psalm 92 verse 10. My horn has thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn. And I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Somebody praise the Lord. Oh, fresh touch. Luke 13 verse 13. Jesus touched that woman. That woman could not lift up herself. But he touched. And she was made whole. Somebody praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Even the dry bones can be touched. Shall these dry bones live? Oh, son of man, prophesy unto the bones. And as he prophesied, Ezekiel chapter 37, amen, verse 4. Oh, ye dry bones, hear the word of God. And as he began to prophesy, bones began to shake. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. He said in verse 12, speak to us, said the Lord. Oh, dry bones, I will, I will open your graves and bring you out of your graves and bring you into your land. I pray God to touch every dry bone in the house. God touch every dry bone in the house. God touch every dry bone in the house. God revive every dry bone in the house. Everything that is dying, everything that is about to die, let there be a revival. Let there be a fresh touch in the name of Jesus. Say amen. Oh, touch again, Lord. In the name of Jesus, shout amen. Hallelujah. And it reminds me of Luke 5, verse, you know, chapter 5. Peter toiled all the night. I'm just explaining what has been said today. I have not gone into the message. Peter toiled all the night and he caught nothing. And he was so discouraged, he was washing up his net, folding up. I hear God saying to somebody, don't give up yet. Don't start washing up yet. Don't pack up yet. Try again, try again, try again. Somebody pray the Lord. And Peter said to the Lord, I have toiled all the night. And I've caught nothing. It's not because I'm lazy, but I just work so hard. All these years and nothing to show for it. But Jesus said, try again. Try again. Cast your net onto the deep. And he tried again. He was touched again. Encouraged again. Touched again. Motivated again. And when he tried one more time, he caught fish. Hallelujah. May you catch fish today. He, his hair, back to touch me. That's the, that's the topic. Sister Mays brought the topic. Touch me again, Lord. Somebody said, touch me again, Lord. Somebody said, touch me again, Lord. Amen. Let me read the one we always love to speak on. When we were younger preachers, we would preach and tear down something. Amen. Praise God. But as we become fathers, we see the good side of Samson. We never see the good side of Samson. But let me read the bad side. And she said, his girlfriend, not his wife, said unto him, Amen. The Samson are upon you. And he just said, I will just shake up myself like anointing will flow. Even if I come from, from the pop, have a pint of beer, and the anointing will still flow. It doesn't work like that. Amen. But he was empty and dry. But thank God for 22. How be it? How be it? Nevertheless, notwithstanding, in spite of the hair, a new set of hair, the old one was gone, and the new set of hair began to grow again. Somebody praise God. New set of hair began to grow again. If I cannot preach to you today, can I just prophesy to somebody? Amen. The key word is grow again. One more time. 
another time. And I pray for someone today as Samson's hair began to grow again. I pray that you will rise again. You will rise again. You will shine again. You will, amen, minister again. Your, your health will come back again. You will be anointed again. You will rejoice again. Shall will thou not revive us again? Will thou be angry with us forever? Will thou not? Psalm 85. Oh, praise God. Verse 5 and verse 6. He said, will thou not revive us again? That your people may rejoice in you. Lord, revive us again. Make us rejoice again. And that what is again, it happened before. And it sees happening for a while. But it's going to happen again. It will come back again. The glory is coming again. Your family will stand again. Your ministry will rise again. Hallelujah. You will shine again. You will be revived again. You will be useful again. Shout amen. You will laugh again. You will sing again. Songs of joy. Songs of victory. Songs of happiness. Hallelujah. David said, ah, Psalm 41 to 3, I waited patiently on the Lord. And he heard my cry. And lifted me up from a merry claim. And planted my feet upon the rock. And he has put a new song. Verse 3. He has put a new song in my mouth. Oh, let me just dwell on that now. God will make it to rain again. You know, First uh, Kings chapter 18 verse 1. It says, I will make it rain again. In the New Living Translation, again is added. It will rain again. It's rain again when Elijah prayed again. Uh, James 5, 17 to 18. He prayed that there might be no rain. And he prayed again. And when he prayed again, it rained again. It will rain again. Heaven will open again. Blessing will fall again. Revival will come again. I don't know whom I'm talking to today. God says it's not over yet. Something is going to happen again. Your family will rise again. Your business will rise again. The church will rise again. Your health will come back again. In the name of Jesus, are you waiting for scriptures? Amen. John eleven twenty three. 23. Jesus said to Martha, thy brother shall rise again. It may not be your brother. But it was his, her brother at that time. It may be whatever is dead in your life. May not be your brother, maybe your finance, maybe your health, maybe your family, maybe your grandchildren giving you problem, maybe your relationship. But God says your brother, your relationship, your finance, your health, your, are you with me? Shall rise again. Shall rise again. Shall rise again. In the name of Jesus, say amen. And then a Jeremiah, we always see those Jeremiah, those J's, J's, J, Jeremiah 30, 17. I will restore health unto you and I will heal you of your wounds because they call you an outcast. Jeremiah 18 verse 4, the vessel that was molded was mad. In the hands of the potter. It wasn't Satan who spoiled it. It was not the enemy. It was right in your own hands. Something spoiled in your own hands. But there's good news for you. The Bible says, and he remolded it. Oh, praise God. Can I just pray with somebody? Amen. Am I speaking from Isaiah 53 verse 10? The pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. I pray that nothing will spoil in your hand. Nothing will grow wrong in your hand. Whatever God has placed in your hand will become better. God will make stones to become gold in your hand. Whatever your hand will touch, it shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus, say amen. In Genesis 39, maybe from verses 3 down, it says everything 
dead Joseph touched. Prospered in his hand. Oh God, everything God puts in your hand, let it prosper in your hand. Let that business prosper in your hand. Let that ministry prosper in your hand. And whatever is real in your hand, I pray that it will be remolded. It will be remolded. It will be remolded. It will be remolded. It will be be repaired. And the Bible says he molded it again. And it was better than the beginning. Mold it again. Mold it again. Mold it again. Mold it again. Build it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Isaiah 61 verse 4. I will rebuild. I will repair. And I will rise up again. Say amen. Hallelujah. It says in Job 42 verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. And gave him twice more than he had before. And Psalm 126 verse 1. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion. We were like them that dreamt. Our mouths were filled with laughter. And our tongue with singing. Lord put laughter again in our mouths. Put a new song again in our tongues. In the name of Jesus make us laugh again. Make us sing again. Make us praise again. Make us speak again. Shout amen. Shout amen. God make somebody laugh again. Amen. Genesis 21 verse 6. He said God has made me to laugh. And all those who hear about it will come laugh with me. God make you laugh again. God make you laugh again. Oh God make me laugh again. In the name of Jesus. My car, my car, not Malachi, my car, chapter 7, verse 8. Rejoice not over me, oh my enemies, for when I fall, I will rise again. I'm going to rise again in the name of Jesus. God will do it again. What he did in the past, he will do it again. If he healed in the past, he will heal again. If he answered before, He will answer again. If he used you before, he will use you again. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 1 Samuel 17 verse 27. David said to, in concluding from verse 34, he said, oh, your servant kept the light, kept the sheep, and a lion came. Yeah, he shall tread upon lions today, scripture. A lion came, amen, and David said, "I, I smote the lion. And I smote the bear. And these uncircumcised will be like one of them. Seeing that he defiled the armies of the living God. Verse 37. And the same God who delivered me from the hands of the lion. From the hands of the bear. He will deliver me. Oh hallelujah. 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 The same God. Who delivered past tense. And in front of me. There is a Goliath. The same God who did it before. He will do it again. He will deliver me again. He will save me again. He will provide again. He will answer again. Shout amen. Hallelujah. Samson's story is very practical, very relevant and encouraging. Encouraging for Christians, for ministers, for parents, for the church. Amen. What we gather is that there is hope where there is life. The story of Samson teaches that as long as we're alive, there is hope. Are you with me? Amen. All hope is not lost where there is life. And then we always say the downfall of a man is not the end of him. As any righteous man falleth, the the steps of a good man are ordered of the Lord. Though he falleth, he shall not be utterly cast down. For the Lord shall uphold him with his hand. 
Psalm 37, 23 and 24. Amen. And I think it says in Proverbs 14, 16. It says the righteous, the righteous, a good man falleth seven times and he riseth again. What I'm trying to say is that there is hope for you. Are you with me? There is hope for you. Amen. Jeremiah 31, 16 and 17. It says, refrain thy voice from crying. And your ear, eyes from tears. For your labor shall be rewarded, said the Lord. And verse 17 says, Thus said the Lord, There is hope in thy end, said the Lord. Thy hope is sure. You are not totally hopeless, said the Lord. Hosea 2.15, it says, I will make a door of hope, even in the valley of Akor. The valley of Akor is the valley of Achan. We are Achan, Joshua 7, must be 24, 25. Joshua was stoned, and the place where he was burnt was called a heap of stone laid over his body, and they named it Valley of Akor. And God says, even in the Valley of Akor, I will make a of hope, amen, door to be open where there is no door. In the midst of hopelessness, God open a door. God make a way. God open a door. God make a way. God make a door. I'm back to that scripture. I'm back to that scripture. Amen. Psalm 24 verse 7. Be thou lifted up, O ye gates, ye everlasting door. And let the prince of glory come in. Who is the prince of glory? He is the Lord mighty in battle. Let every gate be open. Gate of brass be open. Iron gate be open. Let doors be made. In the name of Jesus, Isaiah 45, verse 2, I will go before you. I will make a way. Amen. It says even a gate of brass shall be removed and make crooked places straight. I will bust asunder every iron, every brass of iron. In the name of Jesus, say amen. First Corinthians verse 10, verse 13. Oh, God, there is no temptation that is but feeling you that is uncommon. God is not unfaithful. Amen. He will not let you go beyond what you can manage. But even in the midst of it all, he will make a way. Way of escape. Way of escape. Way of escape. Way of escape. I love that way of escape. You will escape that storm. Escape that danger. Escape untimely death. Escape sickness. Oh, you will escape from the hands of your enemy. In the name of Jesus. It takes me back to Psalm. I didn't plan all this. Take me back to Psalm 124 verse 7. He says, we have escaped. Amen. Like a bird from the snare of the fowler. And the snare has been broken. Oh, and we have escaped. We have escaped. Back to the scripture, Psalm 1, Psalm 91, amen. The snare of the fowler, the trap of the enemy, waiting for you to fall in. God will make you escape from that trap today, from that snare today. In the name of Jesus, you will escape from untimely death, escape from danger, escape from the storm, escape from the lion den, escape from every trap of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, God will make a way. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise Him. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Samson was an anointed man. He was the most anointed where physical strength was concerned. He's the strongest man of ancient times. He was anointed for a purpose. Amen. But just me, I don't mean to touch the negative part of Samson. Amen. Because we don't have time for that. But there's something that the Bible says he slept. He slept at the wrong place at the wrong time. And on the laps of the wrong person. Hello? No, I didn't mean to trouble anybody. 
Praise God. And the Bible says when men slept. You know, Sam Matthew is Matthew. I'm, I'm coming with something positive. Don't worry, don't worry. Amen. Psalm 30. Is this uh, uh, Matthew 13? From verse 24, you read to verse 39. He said, when men slept, the, the enemies came. He said, his enemies came and sowed tears. Are you with me? And verse 39 says, and the, the enemy who sowed the tears is the devil himself. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm coming to something there. And the Bible says in Jonah 1, 6, he said, what meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise and call upon thy God. He's talking to the church. But let me give you good news here. Amen. Are you ready for this? Amen. When men slept, the enemies came and saw tears and went away. But then in Matthew 15, verse 13, it said, Whatsoever God has not planted shall be rooted out. Everything that is not of God that the enemy has sown, even while we slept, now we are no more sleeping. We woke up and found that the enemy has sown something in the good thing that we have labored so hard to establish. But the Bible said, whatsoever God has not planted, whatever the enemy planted that is not of God is to be rooted out today. In the name of Jesus, we root out, we root out, we tear down. We break asunder. We discharge. In the name of Jesus, we root out. Every plant sown by the enemy, we root out. Every seed planted by the enemy in our lives, in our homes, in our children. In the name of Jesus, we pull them out. In Jesus' name. Somebody pray the Lord. Amen. Second Corinthians 10 verse 4. The weapons of our warfare. They are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of stronghold. We pull down every satanic stronghold. We pull down satanic weapons. We pull down Satan's plants in the midst of God's people today. We uproot in the name of Jesus. We uproot. We pull down the mountain. We pull down stronghold. We pull down barriers in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jeremiah 1, 10, son of man, I have placed you above the nations and the kingdoms. Amen. To pull down, to root out, to throw down, to plant and to build. Amen. There are things we throw down. Whatever is not of God is thrown down. Thrown down, thrown down, thrown down. We rebuild the right thing in God's people's lives. In Jesus' name. Say amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Whatever the enemy planted while we slept, now we have woken up. We tear them down. We tear them down. We tear them down. We tear them down. I uh, quoted Isaiah 61 verse 4. I will rebuild, I will repair, and I will rise up again, saith the Lord. Amen. First Samuel 30, you need to read from, from verse 1. Amen. I mentioned that before, that when all the 600 men left home, Ziklag, the enemies, Amalekites, came in and did what? Uh, and, and burned the place with fire. While we slept, the enemies came in and destroyed the place. Amen. But then the Bible said David cried until he could no longer cry. Verse 4, 1 Samuel 30, he cried. Verse 6, David encouraged himself in the Lord. Then verse 8, David inquired of the Lord and said, Should I pursue? Should I recover? God said, Pursue. Hallelujah. Pursue. 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 You will recover. You will overtake. You will recover. Recover. The pastor is helping me to preach. You will recover. You will recover. You will recover. All. And verse 18, David recovered all. Verse 19, David took back all. Verse 20, David recovered all. You will recover. Oh, maybe I should dwell in that all now. 
Because I didn't want to go into the message. Amen. Say recover all. Philippians 4.19 My God shall supply all your needs. My God shall supply all. Maybe I should start dwelling on that now. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Uh, Psalm 103 verse 3 Who forgiveth us all our iniquities and healeth all our diseases. Are you with me? Praise the Lord. How many does he we forgive? All. And what can he not heal? He heals it all. Acts 10, 38. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with power and the Holy Ghost. He went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Amen. And heal the sick. Praise God. We can come back to Psalm 34. I bless the Lord at all. He says, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Verse 4. I serve the Lord. And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Oh, praise the Lord. Verse 6, amen. He saved me from all my trouble. Verse 7, the angels of the Lord encamp round about them that fear the Lord and delivered them from all their trouble. Verse 17, this poor man cried, and the righteous cry. Yeah, verse 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth him, and delivered him from all. Oh, praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. I'm just preaching the pastor's message. And verse 19, verse 19, Psalm 34, many are the afflictions of the righteous, and the Lord... And the Lord delivered him from all his affliction. Oh, God deliver. God save from all. Save, Lord, from all. Deliver from all. Deliver from all. All afflictions, all sicknesses, all pains. In the name of Jesus, say amen. Supply all our needs in the name of Jesus. I pray for you today that everything the enemy has spoiled while we slept, God restore all. God restore all. God restore all. God repeat, build all. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And let it be reversed. What the enemy has planted be reversed. Be reversed. Be reversed. Be reversed. Be reversed. Uh, Esther chapter 8 verse 8. Write another letter to reverse the plot of Haman over your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me teach, finish in just 10 minutes, 20 minutes <laughs> because of time. I wouldn't touch the notes today. Praise God. Are you with me? Amen. You know about Samson, we always dwell on the bad side. But let's go through the good side just because of time and then we will pray. You know, the good side of Samson, you know, he had seven locks on his head. Amen. The locks on his head, I pray God will anoint your head today. Your head will remain anointed. Those seven locks rep representing the glory of God upon his head. The presence of God, the blessing of God. Psalm 23 verse 5, is it thou anointed my head with oil? My cup run it over. Praise the Lord. Your head will not be sick. Your head will not be bruised. Your head will be healthy. Your head will be anointed. In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 1, 5 and 6. It says, oh, the crown of the head to the sole of the feet. It is bruised. But wherever it is bruised over your head. Lord, heal it today. In the name of Jesus. Let anointing oil be poured over your head. Let every sickness be removed. No dementia in the house. No dementia in the house. Lord, heal every sickness over the head. Over my headship. In the area of headship. Heal my head, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. 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 Somebody pray the Lord. Seven locks upon your head. Representing the glory of God. The power of God. Amen. It's a sign of responsibility. Are you with me? You shall be the head. 
Deuteronomy 28, 13, you shall be the head and not the tail. Psalm 133, 1 to 3, behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It's like the precious ointment that flows from the head of Aaron down to the bears. And there God commanded the blessing. Let the blessing come upon your head. Let it flow upon your head. Let the blessing flow upon your head from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Let blessing flow. Let anointing flow. Let there be protection. Let there be glory. Let there be power. Let there be blessing in the name of Jesus. Let there be anointing. Let there be favor, divine presence around you. In the name of Jesus, somebody say amen. Say amen. Hallelujah. In chapter 14, if I cannot finish it, chapter 14, Samson was going for a good thing. Samson was going to get a wife in Timnath, and he was going with his parents. Are you with me? was going with his mama and his papa. And all of a sudden, a lion came. Psalm 91. Shall tread upon lions. All of a sudden, a lion came. If this was like minister's conference, I will say something. The lion didn't strike the mother. The lion didn't strike the father. And they were all going together. But it was Samson. Because he's the man in the forefront. The man God has raised to tear down Satan is the one Satan will attack. The man in the front seat of the bus who drives the bus, he gets more attacked than the man sitting at the back. Hello? That's why we must pray for the front, front liners in God's end time army. During COVID-19, front liners, David made a mistake, not a mistake, calculated put Uriah in the forefront and say, let nobody help him. Uriah died. So, lion doesn't come to strike at people who don't trouble him. He knows your glory. He knows that something great is about to happen and he will come to strike you. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. I'm coming with something. Amen. You know, 1 Corinthians 16 verse 9. It says, a factual door has been opened unto me. Great doors have been opened unto me. The greater the doors, the more the adversary. The more the adversary, because the greater the openings, the more the enemy wants to spoil it. Are you with me? Amen. But we have good news for you today. Praise God. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The gates of hell shall not prevail. The same God who has anointed you, the same God will keep you. The same God will protect you. The same God will fight for you. The angels of the Lord encamp and run about them that fear the Lord. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. No, no evil shall befall you. Neither shall any play come near your dwelling. Exodus 12. Amen. 13. When I see the blood, I'll pass over you and the plague shall not come. Amen. And then verse 23. I will not suffer the devourer. Amen. To come into your building. Somebody pray the Lord. Zechariah 2 verse 5. I built a wall of fire. Run about you. Amen. And whoever touches you touches the apple of mine eye. Psalm 125, 1 and 2. Amen. They that trust in the Lord shall be like the Mount Zion that cannot be moved. As the mountain is run about Jerusalem, so the Lord is run about them that fear him. Second Kings 6, 16. They fear not for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. We have greater with us than they that be with them. First John 4, 4. Greater is he that is with you. Lion came to attack Samson. And all of a sudden, the anointing of God came upon Samson. Verse 6. Anointing came upon Samson and rent that lion like he would have rent a kid. 
Samson tore the lion like, you know, we'll have to rent like a cockroach. Like a cockroach or a little rat. Amen. He killed that lion. May I just preach, say, encourage somebody today. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. The spirit of the Lord came upon Samson. Lord, let the spirit of the Lord fall. Let the spirit of the Lord fall. Let anointing fall today. The spirit of the living God fall afresh on us. When lions and the bears, when Goliaths will come against us, let that anointing rise. Anointing for exploit. Anointing for battle. Anointing for ministry. Anointing for breakthrough. Anointing for success. Anointing to triumph. Anointed of the Holy Ghost. Tear down barriers. Amen. Somebody say anointed. Fall upon me today. Oh, the anointing of God. Zechariah 4 verse 6. It's not by your power. It's not by your mind. But by my spirit. Said the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. And verse 7 said, And who art thou? Oh, I love that scripture. Someone to correct that English in King James. King James is calling an inanimate thing. Mountain has no life. It's called inanimate. So he's calling inanimate who instead of what. But that mountain is not a what, but a who. A living spirit. Amen. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, against spiritual powers. Daniel 10, 13, the prince of Pisia, the invisible uh, uh, entity, the territorial demon, blocking the blessing from coming to Daniel. Not a word, but a who? Invisible demons blocking the territory. Your prayers are blocked. Your anointing is blocked. We fasted for days when God is releasing the blessing. Some invisible force, territorial, where is this place called Wood Green? Oh, the spirit blocking the blessing. And the church is affected. But in the name of Jesus, every territorial demon, every Wood Green spirit blocking the church, we pull you down. We pull you down. We pull you down. Set the word of God. Isaiah 10, 27. It shall come to pass. Set the Lord. In that day. Amen. The burden shall be lifted from your shoulder. And the yokes shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. In the name of Jesus. Let there be anointed. In the house today. Psalm 23, 5. They anointed my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, goodness, mercy shall follow me. Oh, glory to God. Samson ran that. Amen. Lion. Lion is not natural lion. Are you with me? Paul said, 2 Timothy 7. 2 Timothy 4, 17, he said, God delivered me from the mouth of the lion. Humans, 1 Corinthians 15, 32, after the manner of men, I fought with the beasts of Ephesus, not gorilla, not tiger. Humans acting like beasts because there's a spirit of evil in them. Hello? Praise the Lord. Somebody 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 praise the Lord. Let me finish with this. I won't touch Samson again. In, the, in chapter 15. Amen. Are you ready for this? I won't dwell so much on it. Because you don't belong to what I'm going to say. The elders of Israel tied up Samson. And handed him over to the Philistines. Hello? Not the enemies from Moab of Syria, but the elders of Israel that should be watching the back of Samson. They are the same persons who tied up Samson and handed him to the enemy. I won't touch that because there's no one like that here. Praise the Lord. 
So what is not existing, you don't touch it. Praise the Lord. Hello. Praise the Lord. Remember, I, I, this, the next year will be 50 years of preaching. And all my years of preaching, the most tough, the toughest battles I've had, they're from the church. <laughs> church people. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Not much from the Muslims. Church and uh, family, siblings and in-laws. Their neighbors. Hello. Are you with me? Oh, Micah 7, 5, and 6. The man's enemies are from his own household. They tied him up with ropes. When they should be covering him. And they handed him over to the enemy. Oh, praise the Lord. But something happened. I will close with that. Let me not continue. Praise the Lord. But the anointing of God came upon Samson. It came like fire. And, and in the other translation says, and the rope snapped. The rope broke. The rope was cut. And Samson, the bands in his hands were broken. When the anointing of God came, they tied him up expecting him to die. But something was delivered because anointing came upon him and the rope was broken. The rope snapped. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire in my bones. Fire in my lips. Fire in my feet. Fire all over me. Fire to break every yoke. Break every chain. Break every fetter. Break every cord. Break every rope. Padlock to be dismantled in the name of Jesus. Samson anointing came upon him and the rope was broken. Let that rope be broken. Let that chain be broken. Let that yoke be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Oh, somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. Is it Acts 12, 7? He says, and the fetters, amen, are broken in his hands. Amen. Acts 16, 26. And all the chains, amen, of the prisoners were loosened. Oh, God set loose in the name of Jesus. Loose, 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 loose. Loose. And let him go in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Say Amen. Hallelujah. And Samson, Samson was released. Oh God, open that prison door. Set that person free. Let that prison door be. Let that chain be broken. Let that fetters be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual voodoo over your rope that has been used in time you today. Let that yoke snap. Broken today. Broken today. Broken today. Broken today. Broken by the anointing of God. Amen. John eleven forty four. 44. Amen. He came out from the grave, yet he was tied a rope and tied with napkins. But Jesus said, lose him. Let him go. In the name of Jesus. We must round up with this one now. Then he got hold of a new job owner of an ass. In that same chapter 15. A thousand shall fall. He slew a thousand Philistines. That's the exploit of Satan. I will stop there. The same person that came to kill you, God anoints you. The battle now changed. They, 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 we call it power change hands. In the name of Jesus. God anoint you today. God anoint you today. Amen. Amen. Maybe next time we'll touch where he went down. And then he got up again. When he prayed and said, Lord, remember me. One more time. Give me one more chance. Give me one more chance. Maybe I should just close with one more chance. Somebody needs one more chance. There are, there's a second chance. Some people preach against second chance. But no second chance after death. But second chance when you are still alive. Are you with me? There are not everybody has a second chance. Uh, Jonah had a second chance. 
Samson had a second chance. Saul didn't have a second chance. Judas didn't have a second chance. Cain didn't have a second chance. But you can have a second chance. Oh, try me again! One more time. And he killed more than before. The end was better than before. Oh, your end shall be better than the beginning. You will end better. You will end better. You will end better. You want to write scriptures? You will end better. Haggai 2.9, the glory of the later shall be more than the beginning. Ezekiel 36.11, it will do you better than the beginning. Amen. Job 8.7, though your beginning may be small, your later end shall be greater than your beginning. Job 42 verses 10, uh, verse 12, and the later end of Job was better than his beginning. Are you listening to me? Praise the Lord. John 2.10. You have kept the best until now. Praise the name of the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to close right now. I'm giving time and we have to close now. It's three minutes to time. Two minutes. So we have to close now. Amen. Has God spoken to you? God's general is here. God's anointed people. I know God has blessed people. Amen. Don't forget what I said. The lion went for Samson, not for his parents. Because they were no threat to him. But if you are the one praying and fasting. And rebuking. And delivering people from the hands of Satan. Get ready for a fight. He's coming for you. But he will fail. Amen. Those who don't pray. Those who are lukewarm. He's not after them. But those who are on fire, he knows your future. And that was what Herod, Herod said to those, uh, the wise men. He said, when you find him, you let me come and worship. He wasn't coming to worship. <laughs> praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. He knows some glory is coming. And I will kill him before he takes my place. Praise somebody praise the Lord. But the Holy Ghost told those, they were Chinese. They came from the east. They are China. Hello? Wise men came from China. Wise men from China knew what was happening in the church. And those in Bethlehem didn't know something great was happening. People came from far, saw the star, and came to the place. And the people living in the place didn't see. And then they said, let me come also. But the Holy Spirit said, don't go back there. Take this way. Holy Ghost said, don't go back there. Tell somebody, don't go back there. Take this way. Let us all stand and pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. Somebody praise the Lord. Somebody praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us all stand. God, we thank you for ministering to us today. We have felt your presence. We have heard your voice. Thank you for everything that you have spoken to us. We ask you, Lord, that the word would fall on good soil, germinate, and bring forth good fruit. Up to a hundredfold. God, we thank you for the one you use. Continue to anoint him. Continue to use him. Continue to minister through him, Lord. Renew his strength, Lord. You said that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. Mount up with wings like eagles. Run and not be weary. Walk and not faint. Anoint him afresh, God. And use him mightily, Lord, to bring souls into your kingdom. And to build up your kingdom. Have your way, we pray. Touch Pastor David also, God. And his, oh God, his ministry and his wife's ministry, cover them. And oh God, protect them, oh God. Even as they came to our shores, came to our, our part to minister to us today, take them back, oh God, as they go back home safely, God. Continue, oh God, to minister to their every need and make them a blessing. God, continue to cover us all throughout this week. Oh God, give us a victorious, highly favored week. We have heard your voice and we believe your word will manifest. Every absent one, give them the absent portion of blessing. Heal them, deliver them, set them free to God. And let your name get the glory and on praise. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen and amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us and thank you for listening to this timely and powerful message. You have heard the word. And now we would like to extend this opportunity to you to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you wish to do this, please just say this short prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, 
I acknowledge that I am a sinner. And I thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Please forgive me of all of my sins and cleanse me from all my unrighteousness. Save me and fill me with your Holy Spirit. I thank you for answering my prayer and I thank you for saving me. Amen. And if you have said that prayer, congratulations and welcome into the family of Christ. If you would like to contact us or even visit us, the information that you need will be on your screen in a few seconds. Until next time, goodbye. God richly bless you.